Yo, what's up, guys? This is Teens the Noobs here, joined by Frenchy in a Skype call. We are doing a live com for you guys right here. The gameplay is not live, but we have something that is extremely urgent that we need to talk to you guys about. It's a story that just happened, and we are kind of freaked out. So I'll let Frenchy talk for a little bit because he's what he is the one who got the mail. Yeah, all right, guys. So here's what happens. So. I'm in the car with my mom. We're on my way to get some uh, school supplies today because uh, it was first day of school. I had a good time. Just kidding. kind of sucked. But anyways, so well, I'm, in this, I'm in the car with my mom getting school supplies, and then she turns to me and looks at me and says, we got an email today from Mediacom. I'm like, what? So I go in her purse. I take out the mail. I look at it. It says Mediacom. It's got her name on it, all that stuff, uh, her address and everything. And it says we have a copyright infringement. And I'm like, what? So I go down. And I look, and it's from it's not from Black Ops 2. It's from Call of Duty. It just says Call of Duty. That's how broad it was. It just said Call of Duty. Then it listed like the name of like they said Call of Duty. Then it said like the agency that apparently caught me doing something illegal. So I texted Chris over here, kind of freaking out. <laughs> then I called him. I ended up calling him because he had something similar that kind of happened to him. So I like called him and asked him about it. I was actually doing illegal stuff though. I was downloading like movies with torrents, but once I got that copyright infringement, I stopped right away. I didn't want to deal with that. It's not worth right. watching free movies when you can get them for a dollar at Redbox. But yeah. I don't know if you guys have so Redbox anyways, on you. Um, yeah. <laughs> it came from Call of Duty, so I really didn't know. Like I was like, what? So I was freaking out because I honestly thought that it was about our YouTube. I honestly thought that maybe we were supposed to have a certain license to put up Black Ops 2 gameplay, but then, you know, me and Chris kind of talked about it, and we were like, well, that doesn't make any sense, because if that was true, then a lot, a lot of people would be getting infringements, and I'm like, this is weird. But then, so I actually end up calling there, waited on the phone for like 10 minutes. I didn't get, I didn't talk to anyone. So I'm sitting here freaking out, because it said the next 24 hours, I have to take down whatever illegal stuff I did. I take it down, like, off my computer, or off the internet, whatever. Otherwise, I'd have a $250,000 fine and up to 10 years in prison. So I was kind of freaking out. Anyways, so then I call. Finally, a fucking agent answers the phone for me, and I'm like, yes, finally. So I'm talking to this guy, and I, I'm telling him about how I used to have uTorrent. Now, I used uTorrent not illegally. I actually ended up using it for something else. I bought Call of Duty 5, the PC game, so I could play custom zombies. But I used uTorrent to download the patches for the game. So I basically just used that. And that's illegal. Patches were right. free, right? Yeah. So, Completely free. Yeah. That, yeah. So how did the um, what's it called? You said there was a date. So then, anyways, yeah, yeah. I talked. I talked to the guy, and he said that uTorrent is commonly used for downloading games illegally. Like games you're supposed to play, bleh, pay for. You can download them illegally and get them for free, such as Minecraft, Call of Duty. So I'm ass the guy. Assumingly, told me that I was downloading Call of Duty illegally because all I I guess what he told me was the guy probably glanced over our computer really quick saw the name Call of Duty and it's running on uTorrent assumed that I was doing the worst and downloading the game and ended up sending us that mail so I was kind of freaking out and then he kind of told me about it but then I told him how the other day I was cleaning my computer and I ended up deleting a lot of things off of it and I ended up deleting uTorrent he said it was all good and I was just a giant sigh of relief. It was really nice. So, really yeah. Nice. And uh, I think you told me that on the notice it said August 10th. So I'm, uh, I go on the computer right away frantically looking oh, yeah, yeah. on YouTube to see if we uploaded a video on August 10th. Because that's when it said that the infringement date happened. And we didn't upload a, a video on August 10th. So I was even more confused after that. Yeah, uh, so I was like, so I obviously I had to call him, found out it was that. Told him I deleted it. And I, I told him I downloaded it, but I used it for the right way. Well, I mean, I didn't really use it for the right way. I just used it for free things, not for, for things pay. I'm supposed to pay for. Right. And I told him, I'm like, bro, I got the Call of Duty 5 case at my house, and I have the receipt in there saying I, down I, I didn't download it. I bought it off Amazon. So I was like, come on. You can't get me. I didn't do anything. So uh, that was basically it. We were freaking out about it because we honestly thought we had to take down the channel. And T's a noob sitting at his house probably... He's sitting there, and he's probably going to put up a video with just a black screen telling you guys that we are done because we are fucked. So, yeah, I was going to be But like, we are not. We're going to keep going strong. <laughs> the video would have been, 
Hey guys, Tease and Noobs here. Notice that there's no gameplay here, because we are we don't have a license, so enjoy this black screen. <laughs> so we're going to talk to black screens from yeah. now on. Yeah. It'll be fun. Maybe put some words on there. Yeah, maybe we'll get copyrighted for text. Right. I don't know. Apparently copyright for everything is bullshit. Yeah. But that was basically it, guys. We wanted to tell the story, like, fresh off of when it happened, so you can kind of feel the emotion and the voice and everything. Obviously... Chris is pretty confused. I was kind of pissed off and it's confused at the same time, which I hate being. But yeah, that was basically it. That yeah, was I was I was actually pretty nervous because I already have a strike against my internet provider because I actually was doing something illegal. I think your, your strike is probably removed by now. But yeah, yeah, I think my second offense of doing something illegal is I think my internet gets shut, gets shut down for a certain amount of time. And running a YouTube <laughs> channel, that would not work well. No, I know. I'd just be sitting here like, all right, guys, French is by himself today. Again. <laughs> For the it's been third like week in a row. Two years. Yep. <laughs> it's been like two years. Uh, by myself. Oh, my God. That was freaky. Whew. Yeah, but we are good now. Yeah. We are good to go, baby. So, uh, thanks for listening to our, to us, our Little live, story here. first live Skype com. I think it went well. <laughs> yeah, I agree. All right. That was cool. This is cool. Teasing the Noobs and Freshy Popsicle. See you guys. Yeah. Peace out.